This poem is called Firewood, and uh, it's, a, it's a found poem uh, in the sense that none of these words are my own. Uh, most of the poem is uh, taken from eyewitness accounts uh, of women in Darfur in, in the Sudan, which has since split into two countries, of course. And the, there's an interweaving voice um, arguing against military intervention in the Sudan, and I counterposed those two. Uh, firewood. A bone field 50 metres by 50. It's problematic to describe this as genocide. I gather firewood at 8 o'clock in the morning. My son clings to my dress. Men in uniforms with military insignia stop their car and throw him into a fire. Then five of them, one after the other. I am paralysed. It's problematic to describe this as genocide. The solution is not military intervention. We demand the US keep its hands off Sudan. Children start jumping out windows when the Janjaweed come into the school. The police begin firing. Everyone, mainly babies and the elderly, falls down. I am standing on bodies, a military barracks, no bathroom. People stay still, suffering their wounds. People stay still, no bathroom, a military barracks. I am standing on bodies, fall down, mainly babies and the elderly, everyone. The police begin firing. When the Janjaweed come into the school, children start jumping out windows. The solution, not military intervention. The US keep its hands off Sudan, we demand. It's problematic to describe this as genocide. I am paralyzed, one after the other, five of them. They stop their car and throw him into a fire. Men in uniforms with military insignia. My son clings to my dress. At eight o'clock in the morning, I gather firewood. It's problematic to describe this as genocide, a bone field, 50 meters by 50.